So uh, welcome to today's DocuWare webinar as part of the webinar series. Um, and today we're going to focus on how to get control over email, automate email archiving and management. So um, today uh, you are joined by myself, Richard Cavilla. Um, we are waiting on Eugene Young, um, but I believe he's got technical issues at the moment. So I will uh, continue with the webinar on my own. Um, so today's webinar will probably last about uh, 25 minutes. Um, so we're going to have a look at kind of where we are in the workplace currently. And then we're going to deeper dive into working with email and DocuWare. We're also going to have a couple of very short demos um, to see the uh, email connectivity in action. And then uh, we're going to finish up uh, with an open question and answer session. So uh, I think you may have had to been on another planet to kind of understand that there's obviously been some uh, changes to the way we work over the last 90 days. And for those of you who have been on our webinar series um, up to this point would be familiar with this slide. And, and what we've done, we've identified the challenges that organisations are facing, particularly around the remote working. So we've already looked at in the previous uh, webinar how we can tackle those ad hoc workflows. Um, when we're in the office, we can shout across the desk, we can ask people for assistance or approval on a document. And with DocuWare, we can start to digitize and manage those ad hoc processes. Um, in addition to that, how are we managing the security elements? And we've seen in previous webinars how DocuWare can maintain that compliance and security, even if we're working remotely and from our kind of bring your own devices. And today's focus is around how do we manage information better, in particular, um, not just managing emails within Outlook folders or Gmail folders or Office 365 folders. Additionally to that, I think we can all agree uh, when we're working on VPNs, we start to see things slowing down. They weren't necessarily designed for the kind of high level of traffic. Obviously with DocuWare, particularly the DocuWare cloud solution, um, we just work off the internet. So we don't have to worry about those corporate networks. We've also seen previously in a webinar, um, and in these previous webinars, they're actually available on docuware.com to view. And uh, one I did previously was focusing on how to uh, manage physical mail that's still coming into the offices, even though we're working remotely. In addition to that, with the workflow in DocuWare, we can, we can still maintain visibility and, and make sure the managers and the employees can still work on their task and everyone knows uh, where they are at that point. And the key thing for it all really is not to lose productivity anywhere in the world, regardless of where you're working from. So I've got a couple of quick slides on what is DocuWare. Um, I appreciate a number of you will obviously uh, be familiar with DocuWare up to this point. Um, but for those that are not, um, DocuWare essentially is a document uh, management system. Now it's available obviously in the cloud, so we only need an internet connection, but also as well, we still have the on-premise server-based solution. And effectively, it looks exactly the same and behaves exactly the same for the end users, regardless of which solution you're using. As you can see on the screen in front of you, um, we've got the laptop here. Um, so typically, probably the majority of the time, you're gonna be accessing DocuWare via a web browser. But also as well, we have uh, the mobile phone applications. So even if you're on the go, if you're on the train, if you're out walking the dog, you can still access your documents and information and still manage your tasks. Now, it's fair to say that DocuWare is available across multiple platforms. So um, just to break it down into kind of three key areas of, of what DocuWare can do, um, and this is very high level. So first and foremost, we're gonna capture and ingest documents. Now these documents um, could be emails, PDF, anything. They could be paper documents. And when we're storing these documents, we're classifying them as well. So we're using index data to basically describe what that document is. And with that index information, when we store the document, we can then do something with it. We can start to uh, get DocuWare to drive those business processes and workflows within the organization. Now, at the end of all that, obviously, we need to have access to the documents and information. And as we've seen in the previous slide, we can access via the web browser. But also as well, very key, and we see a lot of the time, is integrations into third party applications. So they could be web portals, they could be CRMs, and we can share that data across uh, multiple platforms. So um, let's move on to the actual focus of the webinar today and, and how we work with um, with email. Now, speaking of email, yes, we can manage uh, email in folders within Outlook, but is there a better way to do it? I certainly think there is, and that's where DocuWare comes into play. So there's a number of ways we can interact with email, uh, with uh, 
DocuWare, we have a plugin called Connect to Outlook. And Connect to Outlook is a module that actually sits within your Outlook client. And it's a two-way communication between DocuWare and Outlook. And we can also do things like store emails, but we can also um, send uh, emails using DocuWare as well. And we're gonna look at that in the um, demonstration later. But in addition to that, we can also look at how we can search DocuWare for emails and related documents directly from the email client. So um, as anyone can tell you, I mean, probably the majority of us here use Outlook and it's a brilliant solution. Obviously it's designed for uh, handling email, but when we're starting to look at storing email and sharing data, it's not necessarily the best solution to do that. Outlook at best is temporarily a good solution for storing documents or data. Also as well, um, if we wanna share those emails without having to forward or we wanna create uh, folders within Outlook, it then becomes very difficult to manage how we can give access to the documents and data to people. And particularly um, if we're working remotely um, and these documents are in uh, Outlook folders and we, we're not in the office and we can't shout across the office to ask someone to forward that document, we start to waste time in being able to access the documents and information. And also as well, working with folders in Outlook, if we need to get back to a customer, if we need to meet some deadlines, we don't necessarily have any kind of reminders or anything built into that. So we're relying on the end user to actively think about what they need to do. Do they need to pay the invoice? Do they need to uh, renew a contract? They physically have to think about this. So we can use DocuWare to, to take all that hard work and decision making out of that process. And I think one of the most important things is, is just going back to the remote environment. Obviously, when we've got things in or documents and data within DocuWare, they're now available to everyone who has the permissions to view that. If you can imagine people being temporarily out of the business or they're on holiday, we won't have access to their email necessarily. And then all of a sudden these processes slow down. So we can use DocuWare to keep those processes moving and keep that visibility intact. So um, Connect to Outlook itself, a very simple program as we touched on before. Um, it's a simple plugin within uh, DocuWare, but not only do we need to, uh, or can we use the plugin, we also have the ability to monitor folders as well. So for example, if you've got a, a generic mailbox, such as invoices at company.com, we can automatically monitor that mailbox and then process that email accordingly. And that could be to trigger a, a workflow that runs in the background. And we can start to see how DocuWare proactively manages um, the, the workflows. Now, using the Connect to Outlook plugin, and as we'll see in the demo, it's very simple. We've got a, a couple of buttons that we have in the Outlook ribbon, but also as well, we have the ability to right click on the email and then choose how we want to store the uh, document. Now, with the uh, Connect to Outlook configuration, we can set up multiple types of ways we want to store an email. So you may have an invoice approval workflow that you want to kick off. We can set up a profile for that. Or it could be a simple case of storing a document directly into your document tray where you can then pre um, or continue to classify and process that document further down in the uh, DocuWare interface. In addition to that, we've got the ability to um, send and store a document. And the great thing about being able to actually store a, an email that we've sent there's no real change to the uh, end user's workflow. So you'll see here in the uh, screen, we've got a very simple button in my um, um, window where I'm sending an email. And when we click that button, it will send to the uh, recipient, but also as well, it will classify the uh, email into DocuWare. Now that could be into a filing cabinet, which could then trigger a workflow, or again, that could go into your document tray. In addition to that, and one of the, the key things for me actually is to be able to search DocuWare from directly within Outlook. So for example, you may have um, a, a customer on the phone saying, where's my contract that you should have sent me six months ago? We can find the emails that they previously sent us and then we can do a quick search directly from um, the DocuWare client and actually see a DocuWare results list directly in the screen we're looking at. And that's without actually going into DocuWare itself. So it's a seamless experience for the end user. Also as well, I mean, if the original email wasn't emailed to you, traditionally, that means it's sitting in somebody's mailbox somewhere. We don't necessarily have access to that. We're gonna waste time trying to track that down. Now, if it's in DocuWare, 
um, then we've got access to it as long as we've got the permissions to see it. So at the touch of a button, we can see all the information that relates to queries, contracts, invoices, whatever it may be. And we can pre-configure these searches depending on the type of email. And as you can see here in the screen now, it's as simple as highlighting the email you're looking at, right click, and then you can do a quick search in DocuWare. Also as well, and we'll see in the demo, you can look at or use the uh, plugin button at the top of the Outlook uh, screen. So uh, this is what a, a search would look like. Uh, as I mentioned previously, the search or DocuWare result list will actually appear directly in your Outlook client. So even though we are interacting with DocuWare behind the scenes, we're not actually having to come out of the application. And we'll see that in the demonstration um, right after this slide. So I'm just going to switch over to my uh, virtual environment now. And uh, I'll, I'll give for the guys that haven't seen DocuWare before as well, I will give you a brief introduction to what the system looks like. Um, but first and foremost, we're going to focus on email. So I'm logged on as a guy called Peter Sanders. Um, Peter, he's a sales guy that works for a company called Peter's Engineering. And um, if I open up his Outlook client, we'll see that he's received an email from a customer requesting a uh, proposal or a quote. So I'll just wait for my Outlook to load. And here we go. So we've got Outlook open and we probably notice a couple of things. So first and foremost, if I uh, show you the buttons at the top, this is the Connect to Outlook plugin that's embedded into the system. Now, this is very simple. It's a simple desktop app that runs in the background and it, it has no kind of interference with the way you work. Now, um, if I look at this uh, email that I mentioned previously, so this is the email that we've received from a customer called Thomas Rain, and he's basically looking for a new roller coaster. And before we can do that, we obviously need to provide him with a quote. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to store this into the DocuWare system. So I've got two options. I can store this with my, my plugin up here, or I can just simply right click and store in DocuWare here. Now you'll probably see that we've got four different options. Now these are different configurations that we've set up. And we can actually have more or less or one or multiple or whatever it is you want. And each of these storage um, configurations can do different things within DocuWare. Very simply in this scenario, I'm gonna copy the email into the DocuWare system. So by clicking on the button, we now get presented with a DocuWare storage dialog. Um, which is where we can now start to classify the email. So we can start to put in index information um, into the system. And with that index information, we can then use that to do workflows, or we could use it to very simply um, uh, just use it as a kind of search criteria. So we've now got the dialog in front of us. And now we can see the index fields. Now you'll probably notice that um, we've already pre-populated some of the data already. Now DocuWare, when we store an email, it will do two things. It will look at the email that we're storing. And if it's seen an email from that person before, then it possibly or it usually would already know who the company he works for, obviously what his name is. We can classify the mail in as the document type and we can extract things like the document date. But in addition to that, in this storage dialog, we can actually interact with um, external data sources. Now these data sources could be a CRM, an ERP system, or they could simply be index fields within the DocuWare filing cabinet. So I'm just gonna assign a project number to this. So by assigning this project number, this now relates the document or the email back to the wider documents within DocuWare. So I'm gonna store this, but before I do that, we can probably see a couple of options down here. So um, by default, we're gonna store both the email and the attachment, and we can choose which order that goes in. Um, we can just store the attachments if we want, or we could just store the email body. I'm gonna store both in this scenario and hit store. Just waiting for my virtual machine to catch up here. So by storing in this into DocuWare, once the dialogue closes, we'll get a notification down in the bottom right-hand corner. And this is a nice indication to the user that we've stored the email. In addition to that, you'll probably notice now that we've actually got a highlighted uh, text up here that basically says DocuWare. And this is just an indication to say to the end user 
that uh, the document is now stored in uh, DocuAir. We will look very shortly at where that is in the system and how we can search for that. But before I do that, um, now Peter has received this email, he can now go off, create his proposal. So very simply, um, I can respond to the email as you normally would um, in Outlook, but I'm also gonna store this into DocuAir as well. So I'm just gonna say, hi Thomas, here is the proposal. And I'm just going to attach a document to this. So I'm going to attach the proposal to um, the email. Now up here, I can just simply click send and store. And again, we'll get displayed with the DocuAir dialog, which we can now index to the, uh, the email and then push that through to the DocuAir system. It looks very similar to what we used before. Again, we'll see our index fields. Um, so we've got the, the uh, some of these filled out again already, as we learned before. This time, the document type is set to mail out. I'm gonna give it a project number, just to relate that back to the rest of them. And I'm now gonna store that into the DocuAir system. Now, by using the Connect to Outlook in the configuration I've used already, that's storing it directly into the filing cabinet. And when we stored it directly into the filing cabinet, that can obviously trigger a workflow. Um, but we also have the ability to store this directly into what we call a document tray, which is our effectively our temporary holding spot. So if you can imagine a paper tray on your desk, very similar to that, and we will see that very shortly in the interface. So I've got a, an email from Peggy Jenkins, and, and Peggy, um, she, it, she works internally with Peter, and she's just got a query about uh, an invoice. So very simply, I might say, right, okay, I wanna kind of trigger a workflow to, to see what the issue with the invoice is. But before I do that, I'm gonna just store that into my um, DocuAir tray. So I'm gonna store that to my inbox. And you'll probably notice that time, because it went into the tray, we're not actually asked to, have to, to index the email. We can do that later on in the DocuAir interface. So I've now worked with um, or, or stored and sent some emails, but I haven't actually been into the DocuAir interface. So probably 70% of the day um, when you're working is probably spent actually in Outlook. So this is where Connect to Outlook and the way we can kind of interface with DocuAir is very powerful. We're not actually having to come out of um, the Outlook client. Um, we're going to take a look at the actual DocuAir interface now. I'll give you a short introduction to, to obviously what it looks like for the guys that haven't seen it before. Um, but as we know, we can access this via the web browser or the mobile apps. Now we're gonna look at the web browser today. Uh, and as you can see in front of you, a uh, very simple interface. On the right hand side, we have our document viewer. Um, and this is obviously where we can start to look at the documents and we can start to do various things with them. And we will see some documents appearing there um, shortly. Now, on the left-hand side is my workspace, and that's broken down into a couple of different areas. So first and foremost, we've got our document trays, and we have already see that we've got an email uh, in front of us, and this is the one we've just stored. Now, our document tray is that temporary holding spot, so we're not really doing any workflow at this point. Now, from the document tray, I can now store this document into my filing cabinet, which is the permanent storage, which could then trigger a workflow, or we could just simply be archiving the document. Um, not only can we obviously use Connect to Outlook and um, Connect to Mail to store um, documents into that tray. We also have the ability to import from the file system, we can drag and drop, um, but we can also scan documents, paper documents and things like that. And we've seen how we can kind of cover off these elements in, in previous webinars. Now, in addition to that, we have our filing cabinets, um, which as I mentioned before, are our permanent storage point. Um, when I click on the filing cabinet, I get presented with a uh, what we call a search dialog. Now, I referred back to, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, index fields, and index fields are, are pieces of information that relate to a document. So, for example, in this workflow, I've got a company field, a contact field, document type, and we can use these index fields to search for documents. If I was to search on nothing, then it will bring back all of the documents in the filing cabinet. But I want to be a little bit more specific. So, I can start typing um, what, I, what I'm searching for, and then DocuAir will actually um, suggest what I'm after. So if I click on Flying Tom and now do a search, Peter now only gets presented with the documents that relate to Flying Tom. And when we get presented with the documents, this is what we call the results list. And this results list, we can um, obviously view the documents, but we can also export that data out as well. So quite a lot of my customers actually use this as some, some kind of reporting tool. We can export this data um, into a CSV file, which can then be used um, in Excel or whatever you wanna do. 
So if I actually just double click on um, a couple of the emails I stored, um, particularly the mail in. So this is the email that we received from um, Thomas Rain. And we can see here that we've got the email body in front of us. Now, this is an image of the email, so we're not actually looking at the, the actual Outlook message itself. If I wanted to actually do something with that and, and kind of send it on, we can do that very easily from um, the viewer. So I can reply, I can forward, I can send the document, I can send individual pages. And by doing this, it will open up the, um, the document in my Outlook client, and then we can treat it as a, as a standard email. So in addition to that, we also had an attachment um, on that email. Now, this attachment is actually a, um, a in a file format that Peter doesn't actually have on his PC. So in a normal scenario, Peter wouldn't have been able to open that attachment. He would have had to maybe download a client, bought some additional software. But DocuWare has actually rendered the file into um, a visible um, um, document. So DocuWare can um, convert lots and lots and lots of documents. I think it's in excess of 250 file types. Um, so pretty much any document type that you're going to receive, you're going to be able to view that in DocuWare without even needing the original file. Okay, and we can also see the mail out as well. Now, if I go back to my document tray, um, you'll remember that I did store an email that um, um, was very simple, one click. I didn't do any indexing. And again, this is uh, comprised of two things. We've got the email body and we've also got um, the uh, invoice or the PDF behind it. Now, directly from my document tray, I can actually unclip this and it will actually now separate out the original email and the document. So now we've actually got two documents. And for those that know, obviously, DocuWare workflow, with this uh, PDF, I could now use some kind of send request or I could use a workflow, which could now send this invoice on for various approvals and things like that. So um, we've seen how we can store document, uh, store emails into the DocuWare client, uh, very simple. Um, but now I'm just gonna look at um, a couple more things we can do within the um, um, uh, Outlook client. So if I just uh, refresh my screen, you'll see that we've actually received an email from Thomas Rain. Um, Thomas is not very happy. He didn't receive the proposal for some reason. So at this point, Peter needs to find the original proposal. Now, in a real world scenario, somebody else may have sent that proposal or Peter may not be in the business. He may not have seen this email. So somebody else can pick this up very easily. So Peter um, now says, well, OK, I did actually send this proposal. Now, instead of using the Outlook search, which does work, but you probably agree it's a little bit flaky. Um, what I can use is the, uh, the quick search within my Outlook client. So straight away, I can highlight the, the email from Thomas Rain and do a quick search within DocuWare. And I'm just gonna choose the same sender, and then I'm gonna do search. And then directly in my Outlook client, you'll now see a DocuWare results list. And as you can see, we can now see the original email that's been sent in, but also as well, Peter from the uh, client can double click and say, well, hold on a sec, here is the actual contract. So I can quickly view directly from my Outlook client. I could say, yep, yeah, we definitely send that. So I'm just gonna close that. And I'm gonna basically, from my uh, Outlook client, is send directly from DocuWare. So I'm just gonna forward this back on um, to Thomas. Now what that does is, it obviously opens up the email, the original email, and this is the one that is stored in DocuWare. So from here, I can just treat this as a typical email, I can forward it, I can obviously send um, and store that directly back into DocuWare. So we have that central visibility. So that was a very quick overview of the uh, Connect to Outlook client uh, and some of the things we can do and the interaction with the DocuWare um, interface as well and as you can probably agree it's very seamless we haven't had to do anything particularly uh, complex the end users don't really have to do much different they just click on um, the, the email they store the email very simply but also as well as we've seen sending the email is very simple so user adoption is very very quick there's there's no training that's required very simply we can get up and running so that was the introduction or the short demo we do have another one coming up in a second but I'm just going to go back to my slides So I think the question that always comes up is, well, not everyone uses Outlook. So what if we don't use Outlook? Well, DocuWare also has a function called Connect to Mail, which I think I mentioned very shortly earlier. Um, and with Connect to Mail, we can now start to interact with email clients that are browser based. So these could be Gmail, they could be Yahoo, they could be Office 365. 
And what this allows us to do is basically monitor um, folders or labels or tags within these um, Outlook, or sorry, within these email clients, and then ingest them into uh, DocuWare. So what we can see here is um, my Gmail account, uh, and I've actually got a couple of folders or tags set up within there. Now, by very simply selecting my email, I can drag that into one of these folders or these tags, and then DocuWare will automatically pick up um, that email and then put that into the DocuWare system. Now that could be a DocuWare tray, or it could actually go into a filing cabinet and again, we could um, kick off a workflow. Uh, one of the things to highlight here is that we're not actually having to install a plugin or anything like that. This is working at a server level. So DocuWare is talking directly to your um, email accounts in whether it's Gmail or Yahoo, as I mentioned earlier. So we're not having to install anything. So whether you're working off um, um, a mobile phone or whatever it is, we can still interact with that email. And the question is, and I think I mentioned that just now, is can we do this from the mobile phone? Absolutely, um, it works exactly the same. Again, because we're working at that server level, we don't need to install any plugins and need to worry about kind of what, what is being used. It's for us, it's just where is that email going to in the folder? So um, you'll see here uh, in the Gmail account to actually put it into a folder when you're working on the mobile phone, very simple. You can highlight the email and then you can just select where you want it to go within DocuWare and then DocuWare will take over. So uh, a live demonstration of that. Um, so what I've got is my, uh, my own personal cloud demo account and I've got um, a mailbox for Peter Sanders again. So we've got two emails here. Now, um, very simply, um, as I mentioned before, we can just drag these into the various workflows. So I've got a, uh, a fuel bill here that I want to use for my expenses. And what I've set up is an expenses folder for DocuWare. As soon as that email goes in there, we can then see it in DocuWare and we'll see that in a second. So I'm going to drag my email to my expenses folder. And we've also received another inquiry from Thomas. He liked the last roller coaster, so we're going to give him another one. And I'm going to trigger a new project workflow for that. So I'm going to put that into the new project um, workflow or the workflow folder. So now, if I just drag in my uh, um, DocuWare client, again, we're looking at this from the um, web browser. So what we've got now, if I go into my expenses tray, you'll remember that I actually just stored that email and it's already come through already. Um, for those that know intelligent indexing, well, I've got a little indication here that's actually saying that DocuWare recognizes this receipt type. So it's already extracted the key bits of information from that. Now, what it's done, again, um, not only have we extracted the data, but we've also brought in not only the uh, email body, but also as well the attachment. Now, in this scenario, when I'm storing expenses, for me, the attachment's more, in, more important. So instead of displaying the email body first, we're actually displaying the attachment first. But again, I can then see, um, obviously, the email body as well. And using that function within the DocuWare tray, I can then unclip that and then we've now separated out the receipt from the email body and again we can start to process that within uh, further workflows. Now what we've also done and as you recall I stored um, a new request for a proposal from Thomas Rain but I put that into my new projects folder. So um, what this has done is gone into a different area of DocuWare and this time round it's triggered a workflow. So where we didn't have the ability to kind of index the documents within Gmail what we've done is trigger the workflow and it's now basically said, okay, Peter or myself in this scenario, um, we need to set up this new project. We've had the proposal come in. We just need a little bit of information. So very simply, double click on the uh, task and then I get displayed with some fields. Now, for those that know DocuWare workflow, this is where we're now actioning a task. Um, and with the DocuWare workflow, once you've actioned a task, we can then start to move documents and data around the organization. And DocuWare will do this proactively. And the end user is not having to, to, to kind of think of anything or do anything other than be prompted by DocuWare that they need to, to maybe action the document. So from here, very simply, I can use my drop-down list and we can see some pre-populated information here. I'm just gonna add a contact name very quickly, Thomas Rain, and again, we can relate that back to a uh, project. Now I hit confirm and now that email has triggered. So the great thing about that is even if I've received it to uh, the email to a client that's not Outlook, we can still keep that workflow moving and keep those documents moving.
So that was my short demonstration on Connect Mail. Uh, as you can see, very simple stuff. So I'm just going to flick back to the presentation. And uh, we're going to move on to some questions and answers now. So um, let me just take a quick look. I have them, Richard. Good morning. Oh, you, do? Um, oh, you are here. So Eugene's kind yes. of joined us now. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, I'm struggling to get in. Good, thanks. Good. Yeah, uh, the first question I've got in here is, when you are implementing these email integrations, will there be any distribution, to, uh, distrib uh, disturb disruption <laughs> Sorry, to the end users? Um, no, absolutely not. So we, with the email integrations, basically we, we can create these behind the scenes. Typically it's going to be an administrator doing these, um, but some users will have the ability to do it as well. But once we've configured these integrations, we essentially publish them to the end users. And then when they're working in Outlook, they'll be able to see the, um, the different configurations um, automatically within that. So very simple stuff. Okay, good, good. Another one we have here is, um, can we monitor an email mailbox without users having to move or store an email? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And um, I think I touched on it very briefly earlier. Um, and it's one of the things that we get asked all the time when we're speaking to customers. Um, quite often in this day and age, if we use invoices as an example, um, invoices are emailed into a company. And, and normally, without DocuWare, somebody's kind of got to pick that up. They've got to monitor the mailbox and they've got to physically decide what they do with that. Now, with the Connect to Mail aspect of it, we can monitor a mailbox. So uh, it could be invoices at company.com. And users don't even need to worry about that mailbox. DocuWare will monitor that for us and automatically pick up that email and then push that into the DocuWare tray, or it could even go directly into a filing cabinet, which then triggers the workflow. So again, okay. very simple stuff. Okay, and um, there's quite a few coming in, but here's a slightly technical one. With Connect Outlook, um, do we need to install any client on the computer or the laptop or PC or anything like this? Yep. Okay, so with um, with DocuWare, we have something called desktop apps. Now, desktop apps are a very, very lightweight um, application that runs in the background on your PC. Uh, it basically sits in the system tray, um, and it will take care of things like Connect to Outlook and a couple of other bits as well. Now, um, as far as actually deploying that to users, we can do this a number of different ways. Um, it could be that the user um, manually installs that by um, the DocuWare interface, install the desktop apps, one click and it's done. Or in the um, maybe a larger organization, we can deploy that with technology such as uh, SCCM to silently deploy that um, in the background. So again, there's no there's no real kind of IT overhead on that and it's very simple um, for the end users. Good, good. We've got a few more questions, but what we'll do is, uh, as we've run over time by five minutes, uh, we will uh, reply to you back directly to each individual that has asked us our questions. So uh, thank you very much. Um, if you need any more information, as you can see on the screen, please look for a demo, click on the links above, or if you can take them down, uh, or contact your authorized DocuWare partner. Richard, back to you. Thanks, Eugene. Um, so, yep, yeah, we uh, did run a couple of minutes over, but hopefully you found that uh, interesting today. And for those that already knew DocuWare, hopefully you learned something new. Um, but again, for, for the guys that haven't seen DocuWare, um, we are doing a lot of webinars over the, the, the next sort of month or so. But also as well, we've done a lot previously. So go to DocuWare.com and you'll be able to look at the, um, the previous webinars as well. So uh, many thanks for your time. And uh, that's the end of the webinar.